The TSA is expected to screen a record 30 million passengers this Thanksgiving, and it comes as 169 terror suspects were encountered at the southern border last fiscal year, more than the previous six years combined. Air marshals, though, are tied up down at the border instead of on flights where they should be. Sonia Lavasco is the executive director of the Air Marshal National Council, and she joins me now. Sonia, good morning to you. So there's going to be a record travel day coming up tomorrow with the terror alert high because of everything that's going on in Israel. Give us an update on the situation with air marshals. Are they still getting sent down to the southern border? Carly, nothing has changed since we, we've been fighting this for almost two years. The air marshals are still down on the border. We are not flying right now. We just received an email last week that the resources are depleted as far as our flying air marshals. So we are ushering in illegal immigrants on the border and leaving the travel, traveling public unsafe. So who has the power to change this and get those air marshals back on the planes where they belong? Well, that's going to be DHS Secretary Mayorkas and TSA Administrator David Pekoski, which we have emailed, we have sent letters, we are working with Congress, we're working with Commerce, Science and Transportation Committee. Senator Cruz recently sent out a letter requesting information on why, why are we diverting our only resource to secure our aviation and sending them down on the border. And, and remember, the only thing we're doing on the border is passing out water. We're not doing law enforcement duties. Yeah, you're doing these uh, air marshals are doing administrative work, passing out water, like you said. Has uh, Secretary Mayorkas responded? This seems like such an obvious security issue, especially when you just had Christopher Ray testify that the southern border, yes, is a major concern, especially when we don't know who's coming into our country. Yes, Secretary Mayorkas has said more than once that the border is secure that the border is secure, so he is not concerned with that. We have, but we all know that the border is not secure. He will not call this a crisis, but now not only is the border destabilized, so is our aviation oh is destabilized gosh. as well. So you're making absolutely no headway on this? Zero, we've made zero headway. Okay, so how many uh, air marshals are on planes right now, and how many do you think uh, there should be to get to a safe level? Well, Carly, we're not we're not flying right now. The only missions that we're doing are Quiet Skies missions, and those are missions that are following the January 2021 people. So we're either on the border uh, for illegal immigrants, or we're following folks from January 2021. We're not doing our regular missions where we're out there looking for the bad guys. So right now, on uh, most flights, you're not going to have air marshals. What do you mean by that? You're following January 2021 people. What does that mean? That means our primary mission is a little group called Quiet Skies. It's a mission called Quiet Skies that we're following people that flew into the National Capital Region in January 2021. You did not have to go to the Capitol or the rally, and you've been put on a specific list that TSA now has assigned air marshals to follow these people who have not had uh, any type of criminal investigation. They haven't committed a crime, but yet three years later, we're following the same individuals day in and day out. So you're saying that air marshals are now following people that were at the Capitol uh, on January 6th, and they're not tracking terrorists at all? Well, they didn't even have to be at the Capitol, Carly. They could have just flown into the National Capital Region. So if anybody was there for uh, a job interview, to visit family, we even had a gentleman that was there for a funeral. They put it, put on this domestic terrorist list just because of their geographic location to Washington, D.C. So these people did not even commit a crime. They weren't even at the Capitol. What? Do those people know that they're on this list? Some of them do, because when they go to the airport, they get the quadduses on their boarding pass, and then they have to go through enhanced security. Then they're followed by teams of air marshals on, on any leg of flight that they have. So yes, a lot of them do know that they're being followed, yet they haven't been vetted, and they have not committed a crime. And three years later, we're still doing the same duty, and we followed the same people over and over for three years who are no threat to this country. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so if you are an average passenger on a plane, how concerned should you realistically be? 
I think I think you should be very concerned when you're boarding the aircraft. You need to look around to see who you might be able to to ask to help you, like a good Samaritan, because you're kind of you're on your own. If anything happens, please don't wait. There's going to be no law enforcement that's going to help you. So you need to have a plan. Look where the exit doors are. Look where your flight attendants are standing around you. But I would look at other passengers to see. You know, I would be looking around for a football player, or somebody, a pretty big guy, or a couple big guys, in case you needed to take action. Wow. Wow. Well, we had you on to talk about air marshals getting sent to the southern border and you opened up a whole new topic for us to follow. So Sonia, we thank you for that insight and joining us this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you, Carly, and thank you for covering this very important Absolutely. issue. Absolutely. It is very important. Have a great day. Thank you so much. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.